In the last two PowerPoint lectures, there were a couple of places where we said, check with your shop and see what they want to do. Uh, when we were talking about how to dimension a slot, and when we were talking about how to dimension a radius. But this comes up a lot, and I just want to say something about talking to the shop. <sighs> Depending on where you work, or who your clients are, uh, or who your vendors are, you may or may not encounter a situation where there's a bit of a history between drafting people and shop people, engineering people and shop people. And here's how that can happen, and this is what we don't want to do. Um, we can think, well, uh, I have a college education. I have studied this technical material. I really know how to make these drawings. I'm the expert, and those people on the shop, are they're kind of dirty, and, you know, they just pound metal with hammers. I'm the one who knows things, so I shall make this drawing. Over on the other side, out in the shop, the people who are making these parts might have an experience that those people up in engineering or up in drafting with their white shirts never done a day of work in their lives. Uh, they don't know what it's like to, to make parts. And half the time their drawings come down here and there's something wrong and I have to figure out how to make it work because they didn't know how we actually make these. And besides, those people up in engineering are kind of um, arrogant, and they treat me like I don't know anything. So why should I listen? I'm just going to do my job. All right, so we have these two groups uh, who, in a worst case, might be butting heads. We have the people in drafting who think they know best. We have the people on the shop floor who actually know what they're doing and think the people in the white shirts are uh, being arrogant. So I just want to encourage you, as a drafter, to think about the fact that the people on the shop floor are actually the experts in how to make these parts. They really are, and they are our internal customers. We are here providing a service to them. We are providing information on these drawings so that they can make parts, but no kidding, they are the ones who know how to make stuff, and they know the best method for making them. So may I recommend that as you are making drawings, you walk out to the shop and you find whatever person is likely to be making your part. Uh, if you're making punching slots here, it's the person who's going to be using the iron worker or other kind of punch. Um, if you're doing this, there might be a fabricator who has a cutting torch, or there might be someone who's operating a burn table or maybe a plasma table. Find who it is and go out and say, and maybe have a sketch with you or a preliminary drawing and say, I'm thinking of making this drawing for you. Which way would be best for you for me to dimension it? Would you like this or that? Or do you have another idea? Now, uh, depending on how bad the situation has gotten, and, and hopefully things are fine and you're all working together, and in most of the big shops locally, drafters and fabricators work together very well. But who knows, you might run into this random situation. Um, it, if there has been bad blood between the two groups in the past, and you go out with your drawing, and you say, How, what is the best way for you, for me to make the drawing? You might get, I have gotten this before, laughter. Oh, ha, ha. Now you want me to do your job for you, too? Ha, ha, ha but hopefully they'll answer your question. That's okay. They've been disrespected for a long time. 
they have a right to talk that way at first. So just let it roll off your back, go back to your computer in your office, and if they told you what they wanted, do that. Put that on your drawing. Now the next time they get the drawing out there on the shop floor, they'll look at it and they'll, they, hopefully they'll say, oh my gosh, the drafter actually did what I asked. Just keep at it. Keep going out there and talking to them. They are the experts. They know how to do their job and treat them like experts. And each time you send a drawing to them, they will notice, oh, the drafter listened to my advice. And after a while, you may get to the point where uh, you're sitting at your desk and someone in the shop calls you up on the phone and says, say, I've got a situation out here uh, I'd like to show you. Do you want to come out and look at this? Or they might say, say, I've got a suggestion for how to do this drawing a little bit better next time. Now you're starting to be partners. You're starting to work together. You are treating them like the true experts they are, and they are treating you like the true drafter you are, and we are now partners working together. So I just want to advocate for treating each other with respect as true professionals.